starting. So hungry. It spilled everywhere. Well, I am moving in a week, exactly a week from today. I have not started packing yet. <laughs> today is my only off day, so I'll have to get started soon. But I've just been chilling, hanging around the house, stopped at my favorite Chinese place, got some food, went to the pool for a little bit. I hate moving. I've only been here for three months, but I want something bigger, so I'm just gonna move. I started to get this one house I was looking at, and I thought, oh, that's too big. I'm not gonna get it. And now I regret not getting that house because now I'm just gonna get a house, well, a bigger space, not a house, but I just moved to a bigger space, so I could've just got the house I was looking at. I should have just went my first mind, and I didn't. But the place that I'm in, I just feel like it's way too small. It's not a space. Boom. Don't bite me. I knew the space is like 1,546 square feet. So it's bigger. So. You not bite me. I just hate moving. I hate packing. I hate it. The last time I moved, I packed like two days before I was supposed to move. But I can't do that now because I have to work like six days in a row. <laughs> so I'm going to be moving and working the same day. And I got to work 12 hour shifts. So it's going to be great. Then I'm also going to Vegas to see Tony Braxton. Like, I'm going to be so tired this week. It wasn't planned this way, it's just how it worked out. So. So how long do you guys wait before your move date to pack? Do you wait like a week? Do you wait two weeks? Are you like me and you wait to like two days before? Like, how long do you wait? I have a lot of stuff. But I'm curious. I think my brothers are gonna do like the big stuff. I'm just gonna like pack my, well, I'm gonna pack one of my bathrooms now. And then I'm gonna pack one of the bedrooms. And then like, maybe two days before, I'll start packing the other bedroom and stuff. I'm just like, oh. I just set everything up. I started taking pictures down. Like, I'm gonna show you the pictures I started taking down. It's taking so long. This is one, this is glass. I just took this down, so cute. My dad actually got this made for me, for my new home. So, it's like, I might as well not hang all my stuff up because I'm moving, so. Good thing I didn't, I'll have more things to unpack and move, so, yeah. break it because it's glass and it's like really heavy. I let my dad like lift that up, but yeah. I have so much to unpack and so much to do. Gosh, I'm gonna be tired. I hate moving. I hate it, hate it, hate it. I invited one of my friends over. I told her we can like drink some wine. I got this from HEB. This is now my new favorite wine. It's a lemon Moscato. If you haven't tried it, try it. It's not that sweet, but not bitter i don't like bitter wine and it's like really really good it doesn't leave you with a headache either so i recommend this but yeah and my, my friend over is like come over let's drink some wine play some music eat some food and let's just pack because i have so much to do in such a little time then maybe after we pack a little bit we can go back to the pool and just like hang out but yeah i'm 
I am not looking forward to unpacking. How much alcohol is in here? 6.8%. That's not bad. I actually want some now. Do I have a glass? Let me see. I think I have a glass in here. I thought I had a wine glass. Did I already pack it? I probably did. I started packing something to my kitchen. Oh no, I have one in here. Okay. I have one. I don't like washing the wine glasses to at least like little spots but if you put them in like the dishwasher it, like with that heat it like takes away the little spots because now it looks dirty but it's not oh it's so annoying you want some ice you want some ice my dog likes chewing ice you want it here come here say hi My little Yorkie teacup. Here, let me get you on the ice. I'm pretty sure he is tired of moving. He's probably like, wait a minute, we're moving again? Yeah, we are. <laughs> I've lived in Houston my entire life and I've probably lived in like 10 apartments. <laughs> yeah. My parents have been telling me since like 2016, like, 17, why don't you just get a house? Like you're paying a house note anyways. Um, my cheapest apartment, I think it was like 1250. And I was like in 2016. Yeah. I'm paying 1500, 2000, 2400. So I should have just got the house. But I was being difficult and I was like, no, I don't want to get the house. I don't feel like cutting the grass and worrying about like little things around the house. And I should have just got it. Listen to your parents. They're typically always right. And if my parents are watching, I did not just say that. You're not always right. Don't drive me crazy. I know. Um, I should have just gotten the house. I don't know. Now I'm like mad at myself. But everything happens for a reason. So it didn't work out because it wasn't supposed to. So maybe next time I'll get the house and listen. But yeah. Whatever. Yep. Yeah, did you eat that? Did you eat all that ice? Did you? Let me see if he ate it all. I don't know if he did. Let me see. You did? It usually takes you like a while to eat ice. Okay. <laughs> Here. Let's give you a couple. There. I'm surprised you ate that that fast. Usually you don't. She likes that fast. Here. There we go. Oh, I just thought about this. I need to get more tape. <sighs> I always go to half price uh, boxes to get my boxes to get my tape. And I had so many boxes when I moved and I threw them away. Now look at me. Yeah. This is so good. I feel like it's dark in here. Let me turn some more light on. It looks so dark in my house. It's so hot. What are you doing? Oh, I'm sorry. I never read this. 